VHF, viral hemorrhagic fever. Viral hemorrhagic fevers refer to a group of illnesses that are caused by several distinct families of viruses. In general, the term viral hemorrhagic fever is used to describe a severe multi-system syndrome. Multi-system in that multiple organ systems in the body are affected. Characteristically, the overall vascular system is damaged and the body's ability to regulate itself is impaired. These symptoms are often accompanied by hemorrhage. However, the bleeding is itself rarely life-threatening. While some types of hemorrhagic fever viruses can cause relatively mild illnesses, many of these viruses cause severe life-threatening disease. Symptoms. Specific signs and symptoms vary by the type of VHF, but initial signs and symptoms often include marked fever, fatigue, dizziness, muscle aches, loss of strength, and exhaustion. Patients with severe cases of VHF often show signs of bleeding under the skin, in internal organs, or from body orifices like the mouth, eyes, or ears. However, although they may bleed from many sites around the body, patients rarely die because of blood loss. Severely ill patient cases may also show shock, nervous system malfunction, coma, delirium, and seizures. Some types of VHF are associated with renal failure. Treatment Patients receive supportive therapy, but generally speaking, there is no other treatment or established cure for VHFs. Ribavirin, an antiviral drug, has been effective in treating some individuals with Lassa fever, or HF. RS. Treatment with convalescent phase plasma has been used with success in some patients with Argentine hemorrhagic fever. VHF Family Guide to home care. An outbreak of viral hemorrhagic fever will result in many people requiring hospitalization. Viral hemorrhagic fever symptoms can appear anywhere from 2 to 21 days after exposure. If you or any member of your family has any of the following symptoms, 
Go to the nearest hospital or treatment center now. Sudden high fever. Weakness. Fatigue. Muscle aches. Sore throat. Or a headache. Patients with severe cases of viral hemorrhagic fever often show bleeding under the skin, in internal organs, or from the mouth, eyes, or ears. Contact precautions. Viral hemorrhagic fever is highly contagious. Avoid direct contact with people or animals who are sick or may have been exposed. Those who are sick should be isolated to prevent the spread of disease. Those who care for them should wear protective clothing. Take care of yourself. You will not be able to care for others if you do not also care for yourself. Get plenty of rest, drink lots of liquids, and maintain a healthy diet. If you have had casual contact with a viral hemorrhagic fever patient, take your temperature twice a day for up to three weeks after contact. If any symptoms appear, seek medical attention immediately. Where to get more information? Stay tuned to your local media for ongoing updates. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Public Response Hotline. For English, call 888-246-2673. For Spanish, call 888-246-2857. TTY users, call 888-874-2646.